Okay, I'm going to make a video that will hopefully help you if you get totally stuck. And your uh, screen might look a little different because it's a different box, but it'll basically be the same. You have your app drawer, your uh, web browser, and uh, that's about it. Settings on the bottom right. So just look that over a little bit. And then uh, first thing we're going to do is uninstall Kodi. So click on Settings over on the far right. You might have a gray box that says Settings. Click that. Now go down to Apps in the middle. Click Apps. Now you see Cody right there. Click on Cody. There we go. Now it says Uninstall. Second one down, click Uninstall. Then click OK. Then click OK. Now we're uninstalling the old Cody. And it disappeared. It's gone. So once that happens, you go back to your main screen. Keep going back. Or click the home button. And you're going to go down to uh, your web browser. Open up the web browser. It's on the main screen there. It says browser. If you don't see it there, it'll be in your apps drawer. Right above that it says apps. <coughs> Excuse me. Your apps might look a little different, but it should be the same. Click on Browser, and it opens up the web browser. Okay, now we're going to type a web address in here. I promise this isn't real hard. Bestfreemoviebox.com slash repo2. B-E-S-T-F-R-E-E -E Movie M O V I E box B O X dot com. I have a dot com there. Click that and then uh, slash over on the bottom left of the bar slash repo two R E P O and then you got to switch over to the numbers. So down at the bottom left, switch to numbers and click two. Okay, now you can click the green arrow on the far right for uh, enter or go. Okay, now this is going to bring up the screen where I have uh, my host, where I have my uh, files hosted. And we're going to click on uh, the third one down under parent directory and bman. It says Cody 17.3 bb.apk. That's the one we want, so click that. And you're going to see it start downloading at the bottom right. Real quick, it just says starting download. So you might miss it, but you'll see at the top left, very top left of the screen, the little down arrow that shows you that it's downloading. So as soon as that stops, it's done. You know it's done downloading when that little arrow stops at the far top left of the screen. Okay, so then we're going to go back. Keep hitting your back button or the home button, either one. And you're going to get out of this. Back to the main screen. Okay. Now you're going to go in the apps drawer where it says apps. Anywhere on your box that says apps on the main screen, click that. And then once in here, we're going to look for the manila folder. It looks like a file folder. Uh, actually, mine is not in here. Okay. I didn't know that on this box that it doesn't have it in here. Yours should have a yellow folder that says uh, file folder or my files, something like that. But mine is actually out on the main screen where it says My Files. So I'm going to click on My Files, and when you click on yours, it'll look the same as this. Except for you won't have USB storage. That's actually my thumb drive in the side of the box. So you won't have that. You'll just have Local Disk. So you go down to Local Disk. Click on Local Disk. Go down to Download. Click Download. And then there's the file we just downloaded. So now we're going to install this. And then we'll be uh, pretty much halfway through. So click that file that you just downloaded. And then go down twice with the remote and then over to the right and click install. So down twice and over to the right, we'll click install. Now we're installing Kodi 17.3, the newest version, with my wizard already installed on it. So that cuts out that whole step of having to install the wizard. 
and when this is done we'll go back to the main screen and then we'll put the build on there we'll open up the wizard and put the build on it and we'll be done okay app installed when you see app installed you should be done you go down over to the right and click open now if you don't click open if you forget to click open that's no problem just click if you happen to click done now just go back to your main screen and now click on the Cody right there the main Cody oh, that square on the top left or else go into your apps drawer and you'll find Cody in here too well, I thought I would. Where is it? Okay. That's strange how it's not in. Oh, it's. I'm sorry, it is in here. It's the black uh, bat now. It didn't look the same because I have my wizard installed on it. So it's the black bat up there. It says BB Wizard. Click that, and then you'll see the screen pop up. And when that opens up, we're going to have 17.3 on here with my wizard on it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uh, click on Dismiss. Click on Continue. Don't have to do anything there. And then click on Build Menu. It's going to pop up. You just click Build Menu. And when that pops up, you'll see the wizard doing its thing at the top right corner. Just pay no attention to that. We're going to go down to 17.3 Best Box Cody 17 Build version 1.0. Or whatever it happens to be after I make this video. It might be 2.0 or 3.0. Whatever build we're on, that's what it's going to be. So just click that white logo right there. You see it. Best Box right between the green Krypton builds and the green Jarvis builds. Click that. Okay, now we've got to go down to, all the way down, standard install. Because it's already wiped out, so we don't have to do a fresh install. We're going to do a standard install. So click standard install. And then click yes, install. And now we're installing. Should take about five minutes, depending on your internet. Five to seven minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a second and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, we're almost done. I'm about 27,000 files of 29,000 files. And uh, this probably should take five to seven minutes, maybe ten minutes, depending on your internet. But it will download 100% and then it will install 100%. And then when we're done, we're going to force close. And then when we open back up, we'll be done. So hopefully that wasn't too hard. <coughs> Excuse me. And don't forget, when you first start Cody up, it's going to take a while, maybe like 10, 20 minutes, even an hour to fully get uh, all updated and all the screens popping up. And I like to go around and make all the uh, pictures pop back up. But okay, we're done. Now we're going to click on uh, Force Close. You can see it says Force Close. Hard to see with that blue writing on it. Click on Force Close on the right. That's going to take you back to your main screen. Okay. Or in your apps drawer. My, I'm in my apps drawer because I clicked on the apps. But go back, hit the back button and go back to your main screen. Now you click on Cody. At the top left, or in your apps drawer, <clears throat> or at the bottom, mine is uh, the black bat. I'm sorry, the red bat and the black square. So click on that. I'm going to click on mine at the top left. I get over there. Okay. Now that's what you're going to see every time you open it up now. I like to leave my box on all the time because then it's always ready. I turn my TV off, I leave the box on. So like I said, it's going to take a while for all these pictures to pop back in and for the thumbnails to come up with the movies. 
it's even going to take a while before you can play a movie. I'd give it a good 10 minutes or navigate around a little bit to different sections. Click OK on that just to get rid of the version check. You can click in stuff, but uh, you're not going to be able to do much until, like I said, until all the updates run, until the pictures come back. So just navigate around the main screen if you want to. It helps the pictures come back in, the background pictures. But that's pretty much it. So hopefully you should be back up. And like I said, everything on the box isn't going to work. In fact, there's a, a lot of add-ons, these little parts of the box, add-ons, like one I know no longer works and a couple other things no longer work. I will take that out and put new stuff in before the next update. So that's pretty much it. I hope this helps you and helps you're back up and running. Thanks.